This is like one of the most effective ways to catch them in grass. A lot of people will just throw and wind it. It's dead, you know? You're, you're, you're imitating something that's dead and they just can't stand it. You get it close to one, he usually hits it. Like that. Just gotta get it close. And then the Strike King, Caffeine, Swimming Shed will do the rest. It's really effective when you get around this matted vegetation. Can't really get another bait through it other than, you know, swim a jig or thunder cricket on top. I really think the swim bait is good for pressured areas, coming behind people that are already have went through there, because it's kind of just subtle. Right on that point. Threw it up there, made two or three twitches, and all I saw was a big boil. He just hit it on the fall. Another good one. Solid fish. Swimming caffeine shed. Do that again, that's fun. Jerk bait's probably one of the most effective baits out there because it's a dying shad. And you get around these, you know, heavy hydrilla areas and you, you, get, you can't put a treble hook through it. Because you can really, you can throw it as deep as you want it. Just let it go down there. And once it gets down there, just slowly just dart it, dart it, kill it. And it's just, man, they just can't, they can't handle it. You know, it, it does dive and dart and then it'll swim down a little bit. I mean, it, it'll roll over just like a, a dying fish, a bait fish. I, I think it just stays in the strike zone a little longer than normal. It's one of those techniques that once you start it and you see the effectiveness of it, you just, that's just the way you start doing it. And in these colder months, I mean, it's, it's really uh, it's super effective. And when they hit it, they don't let it go. They don't, they don't swipe at it usually. They usually, because you kill it, right? And it just falls right in front of them. You know, I've, I've shown a few people this, and I think one of the biggest problems that, that you have when you are doing this method is a lot of people will, will just pop the bait rather than pop the slack of the line. You don't want the bait to, I'm, I'm moving it this far, left, right, left, right, and I'm just killing it. Just like a normal jerk bait, if you, if you just pop the line, then, then you have this just straight to you, and that's that's not where it's at. It's a it's a left right twitch, die, dies, and that's when they hit it. Usually they'll hit it on the paws. You'll feel it just like a worm, tunk, and that's you just have to load up on him. The only time I will throw and straight retrieve a swim bait is if I have an exposed hook. If I have to make it weedless to get through cover, I'm gonna. Dart it. Now I may do them faster, and you know, cold water. I'll slow it down. But you come across a laydown or something with it, and kill it, and let it just sink down. Just hold on to it.